Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I've been wondering what Thanksgiving makeup look I should do and I was gonna go with the plain old, you know, bold lip and, you know, neutral the eyes, but I thought about it and I was just like, you know what? I feel like that's more like of a Christmas look or like going out look. To be honest, for me personally, I feel like Thanksgiving is like, I know I'm gonna eat like let's be honest I know you spend time with your family and everything but you know you're really thinking about the food so you know I was just like mm, if I do a bone lip I'm gonna have to keep retouching because knowing myself I'm gonna be eating a lot and I was just like why, not, why don't I just do like bold eyes and like a more neutral lip because that way when I'm eating you know I can just retouch like you know I don't gotta do the most because it's neutral I don't even have to retouch my lips like that because I'm gonna be eating a lot and I wanted to make it more about the eyes I wanted to have more bold eyes because you know you're just gonna conversate with people and they're just gonna be looking into your eyes and they're just gonna be like while you're talking to them because your eyes are gonna be bold and yeah I just wanna make it a little bit different I mean you could go with a bold lip if you want um but yeah it's gonna be better I mean, if you like to eat with me because yeah I don't want lipstick all over my face because I rub like I get down with my food. So I wanted to do um something different. I don't want to do gold and cranberry because you know brown. But I just wanted to do something a little bit different. You know, spice it up a little bit with a little bit of color. So yeah, that's what I did. Um, I kept my face very you know neutral, neutral colors. Just that bold um, pop of color on your eyes and some lashes and a little bit of black just to make it a little dark because you know it gets dark fast now so well where I live it gets dark pretty fast if you like in the east coast if you're watching me from somewhere else hey but yeah over here it gets dark like by 4 30 or 5 so yeah you could create your dark bold eye look super early and it's okay so if you want to see how I created this look, then you can keep on watching. So here I'm just taking my Too Faced eyeshadow insurance and I'm going to put that on my eyes just so our shadow can stay put. I'm taking this Coastal Sense blush. I know it's a blush, but I'm just going to use it as a shadow. It's kind of like an orange brown color and I'm just going to put that all over my crease. I'm taking this Lorac palette and this teal color and I'm just going to apply that all over my eyelids. going back with my blush with no product on it and just gonna blend any harsh lines and again I'm going to apply more eyeshadow because when you blend away you literally blend away your eyeshadow so I'm just gonna put some more on now I'm taking this matte black shadow and I'm just gonna put that on my outer crease And I'm taking a Sigma blending brush and I'm just going to really blend that eyeshadow. Now when I'm blending the eyeshadow into the teal color, it's going to again blend away some of that teal. So after that, I'm just going to go back and apply more. Yeah, it's all about patience. You just got to keep applying more in order to get that bold look. So here I'm just applying some concealer underneath my eyebrows to clean it up a little bit. And I'm just fixing my brows because I think I messed it up. So yeah, I'm using my Makeup Forever Aqua Brow today. And here I'm applying my favorite Red Cherry Lashes, number 
415 and I'm using my Zero eyelash glue and some tweezers. I'm pushing into my lashes because I want to make sure that my lashes are super secure. Now we always make the funniest faces when we're applying makeup and you don't even realize it because it just comes natural. Nobody's perfect. So back with my blending brush, I'm just going to take this very light a new color and I'm just going to apply that onto my crease for more definition. And I'm doing this while I wait for my eyelash glue to dry and I know I look so sweaty here. But I'm taking my Too Faced um, waterproof eyeliner. This eyeliner is dishes. It glides on so smooth. It feels like a gel liner in a pencil. And right here I'm just taking that teal color with a Sigma uh, pencil brush and I'm just placing that right underneath my lower lashes. And here I'm just applying my NYX Dark Circle Concealer. I just want to brighten up underneath my eyes since this is a dark eyeshadow look for me. Whenever I apply eye, I mean, <laughs> dark eyeshadow or eyeliner on the bottom, I feel like my bags just stick out even more. So here I'm taking that same Too Faced um, eyeliner and just putting it on my upper lashes. And here I'm taking my Urban Decay uh, mascara and putting some onto my lower lashes. And then I also applied it to my upper lashes as well. Taking my Laura Mercier uh, Pressed Powder just to set my concealer. And of course, I'm taking my Rock uh, Bronzer with my Real Techniques uh, Contour Brush. And I am putting a lot of bronzer because I'm not really going to put like a color blush. I just want to look very contoured and bronzy because I feel like it's perfect for this eyeshadow look. So now I'm taking that blush and I'm going to apply it to my cheeks with my Sigma Dual Fiber Brush in F50. And here I'm taking my Mary Luminizer from The Balm and it's a beautiful highlight color and I'm taking this small fan brush from BH Cosmetics just to apply that highlight since our blush is matte I just wanted a little bit of glow so I'm going to apply a highlight. I just want to glow everywhere, so I'm putting it all over my face. And now here I'm taking my L'Oreal uh, Toasted Almond Lipstick, and I feel like it's perfect with this look. Hey, I'm finished. 
see you guys next time